Greeting. It is a pleasure to see you intact, Master.
Finish the sonic imprint sensor prototype for the mining droids. Everyone knows they need an upgrade. The sensor should allow me to issue voice commands to them rather than manually adjusting their routine each time the mining specifications change. I've been keeping the sensor in the maintenance workshop for the time being. I wanted to test it first by recording and playing back some simple voice commands. Finish my examination of the droids from the Ebonhawk Freighter. The T3 unit looked like it had shut itself down. The protocol droid, however, made up for it. It talked my ear off for most of the hour, asking questions about the facility, the personnel, and so on. Still, it wanted to make itself useful, so I put it to work until its master wakes up from the med bay. It seems to have some skills in speaking to droid behavior cores, so... There's been some trouble with some of the mining droids, so I'm signing off. I've been speaking to the protocol droid about the Jedi in Men Bay. I thought they'd all gone away or been killed in the Jedi Civil War. The droid told me that his master's the only Jedi he knows of in all the galaxy. That the Jedi had served in the Mandalorian Wars almost ten years ago. That would have meant that the Jedi served under Revan for a time. Maybe the Jedi knows what happened to Revan after the end of the Jedi Civil War. I've been too busy to enter a log for a while. There's been more and more accidents since that Jedi arrived. The miners are starting to get restless, especially Korda. Korda said the exchange is offering a huge bounty on Jedi Knights and that we can make a fortune if we sell the Jedi to Nar Shaddaa. Security shot down that idea pretty quick. But I don't think Korda and his men are gonna give up that easy. I mentioned the trouble with the Jedi's protocol droid. He seemed concerned about his master's safety. I told the droid not to worry. The Korda wouldn't... With the protocol droid's help, I made some upgrades to the sonic imprint sensor using some of the droid's vocabulator subroutines. In addition to its ability to store and record voices, it now has the droid's full array of alien languages, including basic. Should prove useful as a portable translator. I tried to make sure the protocol unit got some credit for helping fashion it, but the droid refused, saying the work was reward enough. I was thinking of installing the prototype in one of the mining droids as a test and see what happens. When the dock officer reported the droids repairing the Ebonhawk, I installed a voice print ID on the droid console system. Someone ordered them to repair that freighter. But I can't find a trace of the order anywhere. If anyone tries that again, they won't be able to do it from this terminal unless I let them. The voice print should cut any user off from the central functions unless I give the code. The maintenance check on the droids didn't help. If anything, the accidents have increased. Security interrogated me about the droids and they weren't too happy with my answers. I understand it though. These aren't combat models. I shouldn't even know how to attack. I can't help but think, what if somebody staged the initial trouble with the mining droids just to get them all sent to maintenance, and then did something to them? I think security's right. Someone's trying to sabotage this facility and they're using the droids to do it. But why?
Glad you survived the tunnels. Find anything when you were down there? Found anything? Voice print? Great. That means he'd have to speak the code. He's dead, right? There's ways to beat voice prints, though. If you can get samples of his voice and the right words, you should be able to fake the voice print code, if you know what it is. You know, I overheard the maintenance officer getting chewed out by the security officer. You might want to check the security office on this level and see if there's any voice samples stored in the logs. And maybe there's samples of the code in the maintenance officer's hollow logs, if you can find a way to record them. Well, that's a start. See if you can find any recordings where the maintenance officer is speaking, and try to piece together the words to unlock the voice print. Yeah? Did you blow it up? Because droids can't be trusted. Look, I could have let you rot in those mining tunnels, and all I get from you is back talk. You know what? I don't trust you. For all I know, you could have caused all this trouble. In fact, you did just by being a Jedi. So before you start accusing me of anything, Jedi, maybe you better take a look at what you've done. So they are still alive. But the dormitory comm isn't picking up anything. Is there any way to get to them? There may be some emergency route to get to them. Still, maybe we should leave them where they are and try to get to the hangar. If they wanted to sell you to the exchange, we should make a clean getaway while we can. You mean like they did to you? You're pretty forgiving. and tell me what's going on with these droids. Sir, I don't know. It's like their behavior cores are undergoing binary decay, but I can't find the source. This shouldn't be happening. Well, that's reassuring. It isn't happening. So the next time we nearly have a breach in the ventilation tunnels, I can just close my eyes and pretend it's my imagination. You better give me some answers. I want to know the damage these droids can do if they start mining us instead of asteroid rock. Sir... These droids aren't combat models. Their mining lasers are weaker and less accurate than blasters. I doubt those droids could even hit one of us. Are you blind? What about the miners in Med Bay? It's sabotage, and it started right after the commander said we weren't going to sell the Jedi to the Exchange. So I want you to find out how these droids are being sabotaged. That'll tell me who's trying to clear a path to get that Jedi off the facility and stop him. In the meantime, make sure the security's armed with all the ion and sonic charges you can find. If those droids start coming after me, I'm gonna need more than low-grade mining lasers to take them down. Clear? Yes, sir. Maintenance control out. Idiot. Maintenance control. Voice print ID R1 B5. about time. I lost your signal after you left the mining tunnels. Now you're coming in clear. Except I'm picking you up on the exterior of the facility. On the asteroid surface. That can't be right. Huh? What are you doing out there? You're crazy. Even for a Jedi. Look, you need to get out of there, quick. 
What little is left of the facility's venting systems have gone active, most likely from the explosions in the mining tunnels. They're venting Paragas fuel deposits into space through the exterior vents, right in your path. I can't. I'm locked out of the main systems here. I couldn't shut it down if I tried. The vents look like they've been purposely rerouted to vent the gases to the exterior. And only in the last few minutes, it's almost as if... Now what now? I don't believe this. There's a ship coming in, sending a docking code. I have a bad feeling about this.